Royal fans have spotted some clues in Prince Harry's statement on Afghanistan which they say show it wasn't written by him. Harry and Meghan issued a statement together via their Archul Foundation website, in which they said the Taliban's advance had left them speechless and heartbroken. But the message contained a number of Americanisms, causing many to suggest it was only written by Meghan. Social media users claimed the use of American spelling throughout the statement suggested it was largely penned by the Duchess. Words such as fall as opposed to autumn and the spelling of organizations and realize, were overtly American in the text. One person wrote, if nothing else, the way realize has been spelt shows this was certainly not written by Prince Harry, while a second noted, and fall not autumn. Another said, Meghan's statement and Harry just going along with it. The Sussex's statement also addressed the coronavirus crisis and climate change. On their Archul website, the home of all their post-royal projects, they wrote, the world is exceptionally fragile right now. As we all feel the many layers of pain due to the situation in Afghanistan, we are left speechless. As we all watch the growing humanitarian disaster in Haiti, and the threat of it worsening after last weekend's earthquake, we are left heartbroken. And as we all witness the continuing global health crisis, exacerbated by new variants and constant misinformation, we are left scared. When any person or community suffers, a piece of each of us does so with them, whether we realize it or not. And though we are not meant to live in a state of suffering, we, as a people, are being conditioned to accept it. It's easy to find ourselves feeling powerless, but we can put our values into action, together. In a call to action the couple also urged people to support charity organizations doing critical work and pleaded with the international community to alleviate suffering. The couple add, to start, we encourage you to join us in supporting a number of organizations doing critical work. We also urge those in positions of global influence to rapidly advance the humanitarian dialogues that are expected to take place this fall at multilateral gatherings such as the UN General Assembly and the G20 Leaders Summit. As an international community, it is the decisions we make now, to alleviate suffering among those we know and those we may never meet, that will prove our humanity. As well as the statement from Harry and Meghan, the Archul website also carries a statement from the Archul team, which details how they are helping in light of these events. It says, we hope to do what we can to meet the moment by offering support to the military community and the troops who served in Afghanistan, as well as to the Afghan people facing violence and terror. The statement also adds that they are supporting the emergency response in Haiti with our partner World Central Kitchen, which is working with local organizations that are helping with recovery efforts to save lives and preserve the health of those on the ground. Meghan Markle wants to run everything and thinks she knows better, a royal expert has claimed. Author Angel 11 who has written a biography on Prince Harry, says Meghan thinks she's got global influence and was angry the palace didn't listen to her ideas on modernizing the monarchy. Her comments come a day after Harry and Meghan issued a statement describing the world as exceptionally fragile right now. The statement touched on the Taliban's rapid takeover of Afghanistan, the deadly earthquake that hit Haiti leaving over 1,400 people dead and the continuing COVID-19 pandemic that has left them scared. The Sussexes, who are living in the U.S., also said that even though the events may leave people feeling powerless people can put our values into action, together. Angela appeared on to GB News to discuss the statement and share her thoughts on it. And speaking about Meghan, she said, she always wants to run everything. She thinks she knows better. She was very angry the palace didn't listen to her ideas about modernization within the first few weeks she was there. She thinks she knows a great deal, she also talks globally. I reread something, you have to read through the lines sometimes. She said those with global influence should advance humanitarian dialogue at the UN. Now, she spoke on behalf of the UN once, she thinks she's got global influence. I wonder whether this is not just asking if she can talk over a film or a cartoon film, she's sort of implying she would be very good to have at the UN meeting for all these poor people. On social media, some criticized the statement with one Twitter user saying the statement was more publicity-seeking word salad from Meghan and Harry. While another asked on Twitter, is there nothing that those two won't cling to, to try and find relevance? However others have praised Meghan and Harry for speaking out, and many have donated to the causes they suggested. Earlier this week, Harry released another statement in his role of founder of the Invictus Games Foundation, in which he urged Army veterans of the Afghan conflict to help and offer support for one another. Harry, who spent 10 years in the British Army, which included two frontline tours to Afghanistan, founded the Invictus Games especially for injured and wounded servicemen and women. In the statement, 
he spoke of the shared experience that soldiers who fought Afghanistan have and said that what is happening now in the country resonates across the international Invictus community.